and welcome everybody on YouTube for a YouTube exclusive. We're going to be playing the Lab of Legends on Legendary Mode with Zillion. We're going to be uh, doing that, and I kind of thought like this would be a neat little playlist to have anyway, is just have um, one run in Legendary Mode with each champion for y'all to see if you're struggling with a different champion, just to kind of, um, you know, get some different tips and tricks on and everything like that. Um, so we're going to work with Zillion today. Now, Zillion's a different champion for these labs, because a lot of these labs, like, you're trying to build a really busted attack deck and, and attack and win um, in a very short amount of time, if you saw our speed run with Fizz. But Zillion's more of a control champion, and um, so it's, you're going to play out some different games. So let's go ahead and get to it. So our we have our Zillion deck. Now, you know, it is legendary mode, so I used some free rolls to get a power that I liked. The first three modes that I did, that I've played with Zillion, I have been getting just the, there's a power that gets four extra time bombs in your deck. And I, I did just use that, but um, legendary, legendary mode's kind of tough though. So I'm going to try a different one that I think is maybe even more powerful than getting just some extra time bombs in the deck. And that's Mana Flow. Mana Flow allows you to get an extra mana gem at the start of the game. So round one, you get two mana immediately. And I think that's really important with Zillion because as you can see, the cards that you want with Zillion immediately are going to cost two mana. The Chronomancer, Preservarium, Zillion, especially Chronomancer and Zillion. So let's try that out. I haven't tried this yet with that, but again, it's legendary mode. You get your rerolls. So here we go. We're going to go mana flow so we can play Zillion on round one. All right, we got our nine rounds to go. Let's see how we do. So yeah, this is a just a late night um, just recording for y'all on YouTube. Okay, so we got a Chronomancer, I like that. I actually just like all these units, like all these units are good. Um, we are, so we're playing against spiders. Let's, I'm gonna put the, the Profiteer and the Merciless Hunter back. Because the thing with Xenotype Researchers is I don't want to have, like even though I like all those units, I kind of want some of them in, in the deck for Xenotype Researchers to hit. All right, love it. We found Zillion. So that was the other thing. I also wanted to mulligan and find Zillion so we get some time bombs in here. Now, then, found a time bomb. I like this on round one. Obviously, no reason to attack with the pesky specter right there. Okay. That's new. And they're not that wide right now. I'm going to get the Xenotype Researchers going. There's no rush. Full on control. I know those things can die to time bomb, but protecting the Nexus health is the most important thing. All right, get an attack before they play things. Okay. Now I'm getting the other time bomb in immediately to level up our Zillion as fast as possible. this having an extra mana at the beginning of the game. That seems like a perfect power zillion with two mana zillion, two mana time bomb, yeah, like all this stuff costing two. I didn't try this power with this before. I don't know if I've really ever gotten that power too much before. Just in general. Alright, another Xenotype Researcher, so we don't have very many cards in our deck and a lot of them are time bombs. Oh man, Pesky Spectre would be terrible to hit with Xenotype Researchers. Excuse us. Just a moment. Alright, let's see what we get. Cool, that's what I was going to see if we could get something with the plus three, plus three. We got the Profiteer, maybe we can give it Overwhelm. No. All right, none of those really matter. So that'll put him down to one, which is a perfect amount of life for this time bomb to finish it up. So that's definitely the fastest I've won any of these games with Zillion. I've never won a game with Zillion this fast. And so I guess that, like, even even on normal mode, 
I didn't win this fast. So it seems like that uh, get an extra mana jump is that's a good call for Zillian. And again, like these labs, you get to change the difficulty if you want. You know, like if you, especially on like you know the lower difficulties like normal and stuff like that, you don't have to go use all your free rerolls and look for like the perfect, uh, you know, card to you know the perfect power. Right, you know, and you and you can like set it your own bar, right? You can try to win with without using any of those free rerolls, or maybe you you, you just say to yourself, okay, I get you know three free re -roll, three free rerolls. <laughs> That's it's hard to say, you know. Um, challenge yourself, challenge yourself. I'm kind of showing uh, like a little guide here, um, and so I I just went ahead and and picked out a very good power. So for those of y'all that are struggling more that need some help, this is what I'd recommend doing: is grab that power. So let's see, our champions, well, we got Karma. No, it's not going to be Karma. So the other two. The thing is, is I like all three of these cards. Like, I like Siphoning Strike and Nasus and Sand Spinner. I like all three of these cards quite a bit, but I don't like that it's four, five, and six mana. I like the one, two, four mana. But you know what? These seem like much more powerful cards. So I may go with it. Like, we do start with two mana immediately anyway. So you know what? Let's go with it. Let's go with Nasus. Okay, we got Nasus. I don't think I've ever had Nasus before. That's a first for me. Okay, so Mulligan across the board. Look for Zillion. All right, Chronomancer will hopefully find Zillion. There, Zillion. I, don't want to meet whatever woke you I like that Merciless Hunter, though. Maybe I should have taken Merciless Hunter. <laughs> Time bombs. I got the puppy dog right at, right at my feet. Let me show well, you. One of them's back there. <laughs> As you can see, the other one's laying down right at my feet. Don't touch it. Alright, so we have to take the three. Can't block the two two, and obviously with the Park Beast. Kinda have to just take that. Could see just go in the siphoning strike. Or the profiteer. This is kind of my worst play mana wise, but ah oh, dang. If we would have found another time bomb, that would have been my best play. I turn it like so. I'll right, we'll trade with the fearsome. Unit. Gross. Okay, so what do we want to do? Because I just don't have. I guess I can. That's seven cents. That thing is huge. Stays the same. I think I have to block the seven six. Yeah, you know, we get we'll get another zillion in play. It will now be a three six. Siphoning strike is so cool. That's definitely one of my favorite cards. Nasus is pretty big. Do it. Dang, Nasus is big. <laughs> I don't know if y'all have ever seen Nasus in play before. Let's lucky find Nasus. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, you block there, you block here. I guess if we go this way. Alright, better chance of us leveling up Nasus. I think this mana flow, just from how, how these games have played out, I definitely think this mana flow has been the best power we could have. That's new. You're 
looking at. Because yeah, I'm. I've never won these zillion games this fast. Because I've always taken, you know, like I said, I've always just taken the, um, the extra time bombs and just go real slow, make a whole bunch of time bombs. <laughs> That's how I've uh, been doing this. But I, I think this is probably the better way. This deck's, my deck looks more powerful than my normal zillion deck. Okay. These are good, powers-wise. Now, I I think we have to choose Zillion, right? Like, we want more Zillions. And I don't care about Attack Nab 1. I don't want that. It's the other two. You know, like, a Spell Shield on a Zillion sounds pretty sweet. Or Doran's Blade. Like, plus 1, plus 1 is, is really nice. Like, that's a big difference, you know, getting a 2-5. So I like both of those. I think with this mode, I think I'm using the plus 1, plus 1. Yeah. All right, let's go plus one, plus one on the Zillion. Okay, then we can just get more Nasus. Spirit Fire. Mm. Man, between Nasus and Spirit Fire. Because you all know this mode. People just go, like, you know, these decks go really wide. That's a lot of mana, but, you know, Nasus is pretty awesome. I'm choosing Nasus. I could definitely regret that. <laughs> Not having the Spirit Fire. We'll see, because like, the Spirit Fire is just pair well with the time, with the time Bombs also, killing stuff, but it, I don't know, it's a lot of mana. Nasus also has just a wonderful Champion spell, with the Champion spell being the Siphoning Strike. Alright, so I'm like in round one... Two five zillion. Time Let's go find right. some time bombs. Like Alright, getting those plus three plus threes going. There's no rush. Twenty-three cards. Probably not gonna be milling them out, but you never know. You never know. Okay, so we'll have leveled up. Cool, that's what I wanted. All right, so we're we're gonna have leveled up Zillion. It's good because that means that you know it survives the crash. But now also you know like we'll have like Xenotype Researcher to play after leveled up Zillion and Siphoning Strike. Siphoning Strike, you know, being able to copy and then play it again the next round. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I'm really glad we got this Nasus bucket. I think our, our run's going really well right now. Yeah, this is not bad at all. They're not gonna pass, right? Yeah, they don't, they're not gonna pass. Oh, block. Thank you, CPU. Because I wanted to use this, you know, is Nasus my best play there? Probably. But I want to use this Ephemeral Siphoning Strike. Is that too greedy of me? Maybe. <laughs> this thing's so big. Sure. Sounds pretty easy. Uh, no. Whatever, we're fine. Gonna be a twenty still. The expanse of eternity stretched out before me. <laughs> Turns out NASA's with a ton of siphoning strikes and Xenotype researchers. Pretty good. And we're just gonna have a whole bunch more siphoning strikes. 
so many siphoning strikes. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. 21, Blackjack. We're going bigger. <laughs> you don't have to worry about DM against the CPU. <laughs> All right, this this run's looking real strong. This is a legendary run right here. Because like the other times, like I said, I've played this a lot more controlly, and the other times, like through Thresh, like I I usually have like five or less life, like barely beating Thresh. So it looks like that extra mana gem really important. All right, summon an ally, give a challenger this round. Not very important. Um, start of the game, summon a random landmark from your deck. So basically that would just put in Preservarium. Because I don't think it... I, I don't know if it would... Oh, I don't even have to put the Time Bombs in the deck anyway. But yeah, round start, Frostbite the strongest enemy. So not none of these are that good. I don't really care about putting Preservarium in play. I don't care about Frostbite the strongest enemy this round. I don't know, maybe I like Frostbite the strongest enemy this round actually. Round start, yeah, actually that's not bad. It's, you know, do I want to use a reroll? These rerolls are are incredibly valuable. I, I could see just having that round start frostbite the strongest enemy though. You know what? Yeah, that's actually that's not really not that bad. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna take the ruinous path. I like Nexus healing. Right, we're a slower deck. I like Nexus healing. So I like that Frostbite because like, especially like these, these Freljord regions, they can have some really large uh, units. And they are starting with stuff in play. All right, we got double Zillion, Siphoning Strike. I think I'm mulligan the second Zillion. I'm keeping Siphoning Strike though. Skip. Don't need any of those. Cool. I'm kind of glad they didn't block. <laughs> you know, because if I... Uh, they would have just gotten a free, free card to draw. I don't really want that. That's new. You're provoking it. Careful, new researchers. There's no rush. That's not tamper proof. I guess that's not a good trade for me. Maybe I should play the Chronomancer. Save the homestead. But I always like getting Xenotype researchers going as early as possible. Um, I'm gonna pass. They're gonna play something. There it is. Barrier. Yes, there goes my Sand Spinner Merciless Hunter plan. So this is a 5-8 zillion. That thing's bigger than this one. A lot bigger. That's a Xenotype Researcher zil zillion. So I guess I can let this zillion die and play the new one. We can Get even more time bombs. Bigger, brighter than before. If we can undo what has been done, we can, Timekeeper. Let me show you. And while well, maybe I should be playing, I should be taking Nasus. Look, we got some one health stuff over here. I love it. Eight six profiteer. I'm liking this deck. Like this is this is just exactly the kind of stuff that I like. Uh. You know, I, I love playing Siphoning Strike and Xenotype Researchers. 
time bombs are really fun. I am definitely enjoying this lab. Zillion's pretty sweet. <laughs> Look at how small that thing is. It's only a 7 6. Attack. Quick attack seems cool. That should probably be fearsome, but oh well. Especially fearsome with the frostbite round start. If it looks valuable, it I want it overwhelm, of course. Overwhelm. Maybe it should just be in the plus two plus zero. I'm probably killing this thing anyway. Plus two would have gave me. I uh, would have put him down to one. Or a time bomb would have killed him. I'm feeling pretty confident, though. Feeling pretty good. Yeah, feeling pretty good about this. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of damage, though. But 15, 15, 10, 13. This is just silly. Life and death Gotta level up both of our champions before the game's over, right? Can't just attack. Make sure my champions go unharmed. Look at that quality. Oh, I think that's not vulnerable. Okay. Negative thirty-three. I am gonna be very sad if we lose this one. <laughs> not gonna lie. I'm going to be really sad if we lose this. Um, we get just a zero cost scar grounds? Okay. I love heal and nexus, so right, like, I like that. And I, you know, I like that too, but zero cost scar grounds, just like, why not? Like, one thing about, and then whenever I'm summoned, summon a random one cost Poro? Yeah. Love it. Let's get more zero cost scar grounds. So one thing about labs, this is kind of this is just true with all labs. And you know, if I like write a, if I write a guide with these, this is going to be like a main main part of it is try to do things that are completely unfair. You know, like like whenever you're setting this stuff up, do things that are unfair. Like we're starting with the extra mana gem. You know, having having an extra mana every single round the entire game that's very unfair. You know, that's, that's the goal. So when you look at, like, okay, healed your Nexus 3 whenever you play this card, that's not really that unfair. Playing stuff for zero mana, that's unfair. And that's, and so I guess that's, that's also kind of the, the thing, is whenever, whenever I'm saying, you know, do things that are unfair, I'm talking about, you know, like, uh... Uh, playing stuff for much cheaper than what you should, and having things be much bigger and much more powerful with lots of keywords and stuff than what it should be. Using multiple lenses. Clever. I just improvised on the instructions you drafted. Okay. So no zillion for us. Yet. Mm. 
mortal greed. What does it mean? Fall to pieces. You'll regret when I live this! This will be a fight. I guess casting like flash freeze at the, the round start every single round is pretty good. I guess that's not too bad. That's new. I'm kind of waiting on Profiteer for like NASA's to be in play. Humble yourself. Alright, heal that Nexus. Here, you're just small Nasus. Another day, another fight. Betrayal buried, Shrima. Hope revived it. Look at this. And I, I will definitely trade 3-3 three, three for 4-3. I guess buffing that thing up is maybe not the best idea, though. But it'll be frostbitten. No biggie. Alright, so that makes Nasus a 9-9. AKA bigger than Tark has. Alright, good spot for the affectionate Poro. Oh, I was going to say because it doesn't deal damage to the Tarkaz, but of course the Tarkaz itself deals damage to itself. Okay, well, let's go find a keyword. Challenger? Challenger is pretty sweet. I like Challenger. Also, don't need Fearsome. Quick attack's not bad either, though, but let's go challenge her. Because, you know, like, we frostbite stuff every single round. And then we can challenge it every round. Also, that's pretty sweet. So I can't kill either, either of these. going to cast Preservarium. That's not a card to cast very often. I don't even want to play Kahiri the return, because playing Kahiri just puts another Kahiri into the deck, and I really don't want to draw a Kahiri. I do want to predict, because I want to find something I want to draw, like Nasus. I guess you're a 6-6 now. Maybe I can play you. Brought you back a few things. Look how tall you got! Alright, well I guess so much for the scar grounds. I cannot be broken! Maybe getting rid of the scar grounds against Ember Maiden's not so smart, but I just don't have cards, and so I would just kept the Presbyterium instead. Alright, you can challenge you. And then the rest of you are good. Even the void couldn't stop me. So level up Nasus. Give him minus one my zero. I have definitely never played a zillion deck where I didn't draw a zillion. <laughs> my other strategies with having the extra time bomb from attack is my power. I've been just completely built around zillion. So this is weird. That thing can't even kill me, but they have one card left. I don't think it's probably not like necessarily better than that or anything else that can kill me. We good. What did you see in there? What did you learn? Okay, so we're at 24 life heading into Sejuani, the second boss. 
five out of the nine levels complete. So hopefully y'all late watching later on YouTube are learning some stuff. Like if you're struggling here with Zillion, maybe learn like the best first power to start with. Um, Ascended Rise just isn't worth it. Because this, if this was like level up the Ascended Allies and you cast it again and you could go from level 1 to level 2 and then level 2 to level 3, maybe. But it's not that. Um, I don't care about pack mentality. Single combat. I don't really care about single combat to be honest. I guess this is where I'm using the first reroll because none of these are very good. Single combat's the best. But do we want just like a whole bunch of single combats? Eh. Not really. So, our first reroll being used. Um, obviously, Ride of Dominus isn't playable. I'm not even worried about that. Shared Spoils. Eh. You know, draws two. Um, we'll see, like, card draw is, is not good against the uh, PNZ deck with the, all the puff caps and everything that starts with the Hexcore Foundry. So that's not as valuable. Now, Healing Nexus, that's valuable. Twin Disciplines... It's all right, I guess. Gosh, I, I don't want to use more rerolls, right? Oh, I guess we can go Twin Disciplines with Healing or Nexus. Is that great? No, but that's all right. It's fine. Okay, now we're talking. Now we are talking. Tough Zillion. Let's go. I guess Tough Zillion with Scar Ground. Like, I already have like all these Scar Grounds. So I can get... I have five Scar Grounds in my deck? That's so many of those. And they, they'll just draw cards. So worse is just a zero mana draw card that also makes a Poro. <laughs> um, or I could have just Tough Zillion to start with. Maybe... The, okay, the main reason why I want um, the Tough Zillion is just get another copy in the deck, right? So then we'd have five Zillions in the deck. But tough isn't very valuable with having scar grounds. <sighs> tough call, tough call. I want to pick Zillion, but my mind's telling me that the best card to take is the scar grounds. But I would rather take Zillion. So that's the conundrum. I'll take the better card to take. Zillion. Alright, we got our Zillion. Really, we got a really good hand. Mulligan Nasus. I think I'm going to keep this Twin Disciplines. I think it's probably better than a whole lot of cards in our deck. Yeah, yeah, only the strong survive. So we can just go infinite with Scar Grounds <laughs> at the beginning. This is so silly. I probably should have predicted first before one of these. Um, I'm just going to take more... Siphoning Strikes? Yeah. Sy Siphoning oh, Strikes just fantastic. Alright, you attack. This game's gotten weird. <laughs> This game has gotten weird. Um, there's no way they pass. They play stuff. Alright, so what are they gonna play? Just that? Huh. What have Poros done to you? Huh. This land is out. Stays the 
same. All right, taking out their ramp. Slow them down. Play this, we're gonna do the plus three plus zero. And so now it's gonna get tough and then plus three <laughs> plus zero. Very good. Alright, I'll give you vulnerable. Zillion. They're just passing? Alright, we probably don't need three Scar Grounds to play. So that's the thing, we're gonna play a lot of Scar Grounds, but then we're gonna just replace them. Are they gonna have Brittle Steel? I hope not. Maybe it would have been safer to play this Twin Disciplines also. Man, this is this is crazy. This is a crazy run. Um, I love this this Nasus package though. So like, if you get Nasus for your other champion, definitely recommend taking that. We've seen Nasus plus Siphoning Strike, very powerful. It doesn't seem like we're slaying that much stuff, but we really are. Okay, we have some good options here. Creative cards cost one less is good with like creating the time bombs and they cost one less, but I always love refill your spell mana. And since we have, we've really been playing a lot of siphoning strikes that require, that require a lot of spell mana. And we have this twin disciplines for the spell mana. I always like this one because, you know, again, free mana, very powerful. So let's go with that. Let's just get free mana. <laughs> Elusive? Elusive? When I'm summoned, summon an ephemeral copy of me with Nasus. Twin Shadows and Nasus. The thing is, is I already have four Nasus in the deck, and I have four Zillion in the deck, and I kind of want more Zillions. So I kind of want to put something on Zillion. So I'm thinking maybe this Elusive on the Zillion. But then they won't... Hmm. I guess I could... No, it doesn't really make sense to do the Twin Shadows on the Zillion, does it? Because it's just a generic 2-5. Alright, you know what? Twin Shadows Nasus. I know I want another copy of uh, Zillion, but Twin Shadows Nasus is just so good. Because, you know, because we'll get, like, the two of them, right? So, like, let's say they're both 10 plus power. We attack with the Ephemeral one first, it dies, but now the second one's leveled up before it strikes. That's just so good. All right, we're gonna replace y'all. I wouldn't mind keeping, like if I had a two, I wouldn't mind keeping those threes. You know, I, I like those threes, but I wanna find Zillion for now too. Uh, Zillion. Else. <laughs> Cause I can go round one siphoning strike and just kill the two one. Pretty crazy. <laughs> Time bomb. Wish we'd use our spell mana for those time bombs. This is round one. We played Scar Grounds and got Naporo. And played a 2-5 zillion. 
<laughs> and play the Ruinous Path. All of that round one. Uh, that thing's kind of scary. No, it's really not scary. What am I talking about? I can double time bomb next round. I kind of want to just do that. Xenotype researcher. Maybe should be drawing all these cards. Gonna need a map. Elusives are bad. Get them out of here. Alright, so they'll probably block the 2 1. And even though the 2 1 would have just died to the time bomb, by doing this, we just turned. You know, we gave the Zillion plus 2 plus 0 and tough. At the cost, of, instead of having a 6 8, it's an 8 7 tough. That's worth it. Sure. Alright, so you're an 11 11. Um. I guess. They told me to keep Lucky the find the zillion. But I, like I don't want to go too wide, right? Because I need, I need to have room for this Nasus. I guess that's kind of a problem with having all these scar grounds, that then I don't have room for Nasus. Overwhelm sounds good. I guess it makes more sense to go this way with the other ephemeral last. Maybe you need a closer look. What? <laughs> what? Hexmech Hexec Transmogulator and 01 into an 01? That was a complete waste. It's a visual bug there with the that that's about to happen. Because basically, this just gives me a little bit of time for having both of these uh, leveled up for the minus two, minus zero. Alright, we should be killing them next round. Try to give Nasus Overwhelm. Nope. I guess. I mean, plus two plus zero it is. <laughs> Don't really care about the challenger. We have the round one frostbite anyway. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Not worth my time. Okay. <laughs> Wait, you have suit up? Why don't you just block the 23 power thing? Well, that was kind of a waste for them. Alright, wow, so we're through the foundries that fast? This is definitely my best zillion run. Alright, I'm excited to see what we're going to have after this. 
what are we adding on? So Siphoning Strikes can draw cards, which, uh, you know, I'd, I could take it or leave it, the draw card, but what I do love is more Siphoning Strikes in the deck. We've seen how they've just been awesome, right? I only have the two, but we've had those two quite a bit. So let's get some more, because we, we have the free spell mana every single round. So it's really like those things only cost two mana. It's two mana, best removal, grow, zillion, and Nasus. Now draw a card. Okay. Send it back. Zillion. I know Zillion yet. We can cycle through looking for Zillion. Wow. That's... That's a thermogenic beam right there. Okay. Siphoning Strike draw a card. I'm in. I'm in there. Count me in. <laughs> if you're going to draw another Siphoning Strike for me, count me in. Don't have our champs yet, though. We should probably be Xenotype Researchers. Yeah, I should be Xenotype Researchers. Okay, not the not the best turn for me. You burn that. Um, yeah, let's keep this researchers going. There we go. Seven, ten, zillion. It's gotten hit by a couple xenotypes. I guess maybe just one, because the two siphoning strikes, actually. I feel like I need you as a blocker right now. Love the Heimer attack. Um... Listen to me. Hmm. Don't touch it. Don't touch that. That's still three one. Oh no! Brad, this shuffles that zillion back. Oh, we're gonna have a small zillion now. All right, we're still taking zillion, but now we're not gonna have a. I should. I just shouldn't even cast it. I should just let them trade. We were about to have a 7-10 zillion, now we got a 4-7. Have you two made any progress? Man, it's just <laughs> there's so much power right there. Uh between those things. Okay. Um I am just going to Pass? No, we gotta play this. And it doesn't really matter which one of these I choose, I don't think. It doesn't really matter. Okay, because I'm not gonna attack. I don't wanna I don't wanna kill stuff right now because of that, right? Because I just want them to just burn that uh, top turret. I want them to be full. Ooh. Alright, so we're at 24. Oh, come on, attack. Attack into my Nasus. Um. 
life and death intertwined. Life Alright, so they have nothing to block Nasus now. They've definitely ran out of cards, though. We're gonna start making 8 8 each round, but we're frostbiting. Oh, I love that plus 8 plus 8. Whoa, University? Dude, University is a card that I need to play a lot more of. I need to play more University of Piltover. That's like my new month resolution. Let's play some more University of Piltover this month. Yeah, that's fine. It's a cannon, not a shield. I was kind of thinking the 7 8 would block my zillion, but guess not. Let's go, Keeper. No time to waste. Remember, time I think Kahiri should have play predict also. I think that'd be a nice little buff to Kahiri. Just a nice small little buff. I didn't slay anything this round. Mm. Cool. Um, you're the one with Overwhelm. Wait, I guess the one with Overwhelm should be blocked by this thing. Let Zillion die. I'm out of the Chrono Chip, but I want this. This Zillion is actually bigger. Siphon Strike. Oh gosh, Time Bomb. It's got to be Time Bomb. Oh, Siphon Strike draws card also though. I see Time Bomb for leveling up Zillion, but. This has been our longest game, but I don't see my opponent winning it. Even though they do get four new cards every single round and a free 8-8 at the beginning of the round as well. But now with level up Zillion, we're about to get lots of cards each round. Okay, we're gonna go minus two, minus zero. That thing. Go grab another Nasus. The more Nasus, the better. I'll just kill that thing. It's a little scary. I wish we could get to level three. This has been a long game. My typical Zillion long game. Another Time Bomb, another Nasus. Oh, guy, I'm definitely casting those Twin Disciplines before the game's over, right? Because we want to heal our Nexus 3. Um, so we'll just heal this thing for 3, I guess. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, time bomb. I need 
get some buffs over here. Yeah, need need this overwhelm. Dang. All right, another asses. Yes, we'll get back to having 30 life. From old Duke, Find... Oh! You're killing me, Smalls. What do we do? Okay, well... So I have to kill them next round? I guess. Alright, already has Overwhelm. Could've gave Overwhelm to, like, Zillion, but, you know. I want to get another keyword off this Nasus, because it looks so cool. Attacks. I guess I could attack with the 16 19 and the 10 9. Yeah. The thing, like, there's just really no reason to attack because, you know, them having a full board is good because, you know, like, they get the free 880 rounds. So might as well have them. Like, what champion have they leveled? Do they level Heimer? I guess they, yeah, I guess they did. They did level armor. Oh, Lifesteal? Oh, just get out of here. Life and death intertwined. I'm having a blast with this, though. 42 power Nasus. Just killing stuff each, each round. I'm having a blast. This thing's for attacking for 11, doesn't even do half the damage to this Nexus. <laughs> you know, we'll value Are there even any more keywords we can give Nasus? I don't think there are. I think it has all the keywords that are available. Alright, plus 2 plus 0. Okay, should I finally attack and kill them with Nasus? It's not 50 power yet. Kinda needs to be 50 power. You earned the right to call themselves Trifarian. I was about to cast this ruinous path, but I realized it would kill him. Okay, there we go. Exactly 50 power. This too shall end. This too shall end. Okay. Negative 41. Just attack with one unit. They block with the 7-7. Seven, seven. Still negative 41. Maybe it was bigger than 7. I guess it was a 7-8. Alright, what are we getting? For our last reinforcements going on to, into the final boss... I know I took a little bit of time to finish that game. Hopefully y'all didn't mind. That was fun, though. Um, Profiteer. We have been kind of not having enough... I think we go with this Profiteer. We haven't really had enough cards, so... I guess we get two rerolls. Let's do it. These are... Okay. Honestly, I'd probably just take this. But since we got the rerolls, I'll go ahead and use them. Because we're about to go to the final boss. So let's just see what else we get. We can give Nasus Challenger... Or Siphoning Strike when you win cast, heal your Nexus 3. And as you can see from these games, I'm all about... I'm all about these Siphoning Strikes. Nasus with Challenger... I guess that was the other keyword we could have gotten. Because um, we get the two Nasus. So that's pretty cool with Challenger. But I like healing my Nexus. And I want more Siphoning Strikes. So... Take it, or do we just see what's behind door number three for the reroll? I mean, I'm gonna, I'm, 
I'm very confident that we're going to win this. Uh, I'll just take it. All right, fine. I'll just take it. I, I kind of wanted to re-roll just to see what would happen. But um, most likely we get something worse than getting more siphoning strikes. Okay. We're going to mulligan, mulligan. And mulligan. In case we don't find Zillion, keeping this Chronomancer to have round one. System upgrade. Can you improve perfection? Yeah, not our best start. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Maybe I shouldn't have been so confident that we're gonna win this. <laughs> Because no zillions, no scar grounds. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have been so confident. Those things are huge. Hmm. Another siphoning strike. You're dead meat. Listen to me. So I have seven mana. Don't mind if I do. They frostbit the wrong one. Oh, I guess they were gonna frostbite this one, but yeah, I have the vulnerable on the wrong one. That's what I mean. Um, this is definitely a turn that I want to play Siphoning Strike. But they will Mystic Shot or get excited in response, won't they? Focus using multiple lenses. Clever. I just improvised on the instructions you drafted. Okay. I actually may not win this. This is glorious. That's good. I did, and zero regrets. All right, so heals our nexus for three and draws a card. Now I pack a punch. Fury? That could be bad. Oh, love that. That give me that plus three, plus three. Plus three, plus zero, and then block, and then kill Victor. But what am I doing about this 5-5? Five, five? Yeah, this other 5-5? Five, five. I don't know. What am I doing about these five fives? Where did you come from? I guess I had the lonely Poro. This one's a fighter. Excuse us. So this would let me, you know, have something that I could do some siphoning striking. Dang, these are some spells right here. Do you have Challenger? You have Elusive now? Uh. See what I've learned? 
Shit. Judgment awaits. Um, this is kind of bad. I don't know. We, we're frostbiting the beginning of the round. We will be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, we're good. Because we're frostbiting the beginning of the round. These things also, again, heal my Nexus for three whenever I play them. I'm just worried about, like, get excited. Alright, give me this Twin Disciplines. Help heal, heal my Nasus. Very good now. Mm. I, of course, want to level up Nasus. Alright, so that got scary there for a minute. We had a really weird opener. But we are certainly good now. Okay, so this is 20. Three right now. Um, I don't really know. I honestly don't know how they would stop this, but might as well just let them play something. Right, because they're gonna have like the MK2s. Yeah, they should actually probably have both MK2s, and then they played. Um, yeah, so this should be over. Because then they also played the. Um, to those things that like create the expensive spell. All right. Oh, I should have done it the other way around so Zillion could have done the final damage. But there we go. That's Zillion on Legendary. Got it done. So yeah, this was a really unique run for me. Like I said, I I this is the first time choosing Mana Flow. Um, definitely really liked that. That was really powerful. So if you're struggling with Zillion um, and you want, you know, you want to make it a little easier, use your rerolls, find mana flow. Um, otherwise, like I said, I'd, I had been doing just the time bombs and getting the four extra time bombs in the deck, and that, that was pretty sweet, and that's what I did with the first three. Um, but, I, but, you know, with it being legendary and recording, um, I wanted to kind of show off, like, the best thing to get. And then Nasus was our, our secondary champion, and man, was Nasus good. Um, because we're, you know, like with this mode, you're, you're, like the CPU has tons of like little small things that, you know, like you're killing with your time bombs and just in combat and stuff like that. Like they're starting with units the beginning of the game, right? So lots of things are dying. You're slaying lots of stuff. And so Nasus was always just ridiculously huge. And then paired that with Siphoning Strike. And that's, that was just really fun for me. And <laughs> the zero mana Scar Grounds was crazy. Yeah, so we had, uh, good yeah a really nice deck there really good deck okay so that's zillion legendary experiment succeeded those y'all watching later on youtube uh, leave those comments and uh, let me know what you think of this series like if i go through it's going to take time right maybe like one a week or something like that because you know now i have to go like with the next champion and go play you know like whenever i have time you know play uh you know the normal the you know, the hard mode, heroic mode, and then go and then record the legendary. But that's that's what I'm planning on doing. I'm planning on making a playlist here of each champion on legendary mode and uh, being able to have that have that for y'all so y'all can uh, have it for a resource if you're struggling with a different champion. A walkthrough of sorts. All right, but yeah, so leave those comments. Let me know what you think. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. All right, but uh, thanks for hanging out this late night stream for me. Um, time for me to go to bed. <laughs> it's midnight here now. Um, you have time for me to go to bed. Uh, but that was really fun. So that's Zillion in the lab. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video.